since the 49ers traded for the third overall pick, that leaves a question in the air. And the question is, is Jimmy Garoppolo going to start? Is he going to get traded? Nobody really knows the answer to that right now. But I'll tell you this. There is one team that should trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. And I think if this one team were to trade for Jimmy, they'd be instant. Pl- they'd be an instant playoff team. That team is the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos trading for Jimmy Garoppolo makes perfect sense. When you look at the Broncos, they are ready to win right now. Their quarterback is really the only position that's holding them back. It's been holding them back since Peyton Manning left. That's really it. As good as a quarterback that John Elway has been, he's been horrible at evaluating what quarterback should be his successor, his successor basically. In 2020, the Denver Broncos had some notable injuries on their team. Cortland Sutton missed the entire year. Von Miller, Bryce Callahan missed about six games. And Jarrell Casey only played three games. So they, those are some big pieces. But and, and the thing about it is that I know that they have Drew Locke, but I just don't believe in Drew Locke's potential. I can see why people are still sold on Drew Locke, but I just don't see it. You know, I think I personally have seen enough. Um, he's not accurate enough for me. He's only He only completes 50 per, 57% of his passes. So I think the Broncos are should be done with the Drew Locke phase of the history of the franchise. They should be done with this phase. In free agency, they had a really underrated free agency. They signed two key guys, Kyle Fuller and Ronald Darby. What that tells me is that at the eighth or the, the ninth overall pick, they're probably not going to go with the cornerback because their secondary is stacked. Kyle Fuller, Ronald Darby, Bryce Callahan, Justin Simmons, Kareem Jackson signed back, and Michael Ojemudia, who was a rookie last year, showed some flashes. So I think he's only going to get better. There's no reason for the Broncos to go out and draft a corner in, with their first pick in the first round. No way. Also, Von Miller's coming back, so Bradley Chubb and Von Miller are going to make up a really great pass rush. Shelby Harris got re-signed. He's one of the better defensive tackles in the NFL. And the only position that you look at on the Broncos roster and see that they need to upgrade are two, the quarterback and linebacker. Right now, Josie Jewell is starting for them, and I don't think he's that bad, but he's not a guy you want to be starting But just look at this. Their offense has Melvin Gordon, Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, KJ Hamler, Tim Patrick, Noah Fant, and their role line is okay with um, Garrett Bowles, Jawan James, Dalton Risner, Lloyd Cushenberry, and Graham Glasgow. I think they have a pretty good roster. Jimmy Garoppolo is the quarterback that I think can take them from an underachieving team to a consistent playoff contender year after year. Because I think the Broncos with Vic Fangio, if they stay healthy, are going to have an elite defense. And I think their offensive weapons are enough for them to be a great offensive team. Regardless of your perception around Jimmy Garoppolo, you really can't deny what he's done. And the perception around him is that he's a game manager. He's not that good. The running game carried him. But he's 24 and yet as a starter. His first full year starting at quarterback he went 13 and 3 through 27 touchdowns to 13 interceptions and had close to 4000 yards and had four fourth quarter comebacks and four fourth and four game winning drives so he wasn't carried like everybody said he also had a 102 quarterback rating he was one pass away from winning a super bowl imagine that the the only thing that uh is really hampering Jimmy G's career is his injuries but us, you know, Jimmy G is not elite, but I think he's a very good quarterback. I would put him in the Kirk Cousins tier, the Dak Prescott tier, the Derek Carr tier. That's what Jimmy Garoppolo is to me. But somehow people have him in like the Teddy Bridgewater tier. He's not that. Jimmy G is a very good quarterback. His downfall is injuries. Since being with the 49ers in 2017, he's missed 23 starts. He had, he had a torn ACL and a high ankle sprain last year. He had a torn ACL, I believe, in 2018. 
Jimmy G's on an expiring contract. If I were the Broncos, I would trade a mid-round pick for Jimmy G, maybe even higher. I'd roll with him in 2021. And with the ninth overall pick in the draft, I draft Trey Lance or Justin Fields to have that successor and project of a quarterback. And now you have a quarterback who can take you can take a risk on and a quarterback who can win games now. And even if they don't draft a quarterback and they go with Micah Parsons or Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa, I'd be totally fine with saying that Jimmy G's a franchise quarterback because I think he can be a franchise quarterback. Ryan Tannehill got paid big money by the Titans. Why can't Jimmy G get paid big money by the Broncos? I think Jimmy G with the Broncos is a better team than the Titans right now with Tannehill in the past two years, if I'm being honest. I'm almost certain if Drew Locke is not the quarterback next year and Denver were to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo, they'd be a 10-11 to win team. No doubt about it. Pat Shermer with Jimmy Garoppolo can be a good offensive coordinator and quarterback dynamic, and I think they should trade for him. Like I said, you know, I know I know the 49ers are moving on from Jimmy G, but I think that's more due to the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo just can't stay healthy. You, you can't rely on him. And a report came out earlier today that a, a, a former Patriots player said that nobody in the Patriots locker room was able to rely on him because they thought he was made of glass. That's really been his downfall, his injuries. But if I'm the Broncos and I've been looking for years for a good quarterback, just some good quarterback play, what's the problem in bringing in Jimmy Garoppolo to be your bridge quarterback or be your franchise quarterback? I really don't see the problem. Like I said, I think with Jimmy G, the Broncos are a playoff team. And in that division with Herbert and Mahomes and uh, Derek Carr, Yes, he probably is the worst quarterback in that division, but that still does not mean that they cannot win games with him. I think they still can. So because of that, I think the Denver Broncos should trade for Jimmy Garoppolo.